Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it was a highly requested one on Instagram. You guys wanted me to show you how to do some flowers, some sugar flowers. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make some Hawaiian sugar flowers, but with no wires at all. So if you guys wanna see how I made these, well, keep on watching.
first of all, when I create my sugar flowers, I always add some tylos to my fondant. It just speeds up the process of a drying. You can also use just a gum paste if you want, but I prefer just using some um, tylos or gum packs, which is to me, it's just easier to do. And um, so to create a plumeria, what I did is that I cut out six round pieces. So one for the, um, the back and then five from, for the top, for the front. So what I did is that with a little bit of water, I'm just going to glue my five pieces to the sixth one. So basically the sixth one is just gonna hold your flower together. And then I just leave it there to dry. And when it's completely dry, I can go ahead and uh, paint the middle part. I use a combination of pink and yellow um, edible powder dust. So yeah, so just make sure that the powder that you're using is actually edible because and non-toxic because there is powder dust that are actually, the, the color is beautiful, but they're toxic. So just make sure to just like be careful with that. And I don't use any water, any liquid, nothing, no lemon extract. I simply use a clean brush and then just go over, over my flower and then I get this adorable, adorable flower that I could just stick to my cake with a little bit of buttercream or chocolate ganache or whatever. So that's for the plumeria. Now for the hibiscus, a lot of people were very surprised by this. Um, there's absolutely no wire, no metal wire in this. It's simply a toothpick. So once again, I always do the bottom with a round, actually there's two, but you'll understand why. There's one round piece that's gonna hold all the petals so the trick is that you always hold the petals together with that back piece, okay? So I use a rose cutter and then from there, what I did is that I cut my five petals from my cutter that I used and then I'm gonna go ahead with a, a toothpick and I'm gonna create little frills like I did here. I did numerous colors. So once you create your uh, frills, you are going to set aside and then cut the round um, piece that's gonna hold your petals together. And then you're simply going to, um, I don't know if you can see, crisscross them and glue those petals to that round piece with a little bit of water. Not a lot, you don't want it to be gooey, you just want a little bit. And then from there, just so that it holds its shape, you're going to place it onto aluminum foil and then just let it there, let it do its own thing and it's gonna dry for like 24, 48 hours. Oh, and I forgot, make sure to create a hole in the middle of your entire um, flower. So I just take a toothpick and I go all the way from the middle from one end to another, making sure that it goes all the way through and you'll know why in a minute. So once you have that, simply place your flower to your aluminum foil and leave it there to dry for a few hours or even um, up to 48 hours. So now to create these stamen, okay? So this piece right here. So basically you can find these at um, on Amazon. They come in different um, shapes color uh, for different purposes that you need. So basically I just take a few and I glue this with floral tape and a toothpick. So everything is gonna be glued together with a toothpick. And once I have this, and once this will be ready, then I can go ahead and insert it. This is why we created that hole. So you can go ahead and insert it and then attach the whole entire thing with an extra round piece with a little bit of water and everything stays in place. Like, look at this, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, you have that. So before you place your, uh, your stamen, what I would highly suggest is always paint your flower first. So again, I use different powder dust. I, for some, I use purple, orange, some yellows and pink and it just gives a nice like effect, a very different effect. So it gives depth, depth to the flower. And that is it, no wiring, no metal wiring that takes forever and you're like, Ugh. 
so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up thanks for watching and see you in the next one